Thank you very much for coming to tonight's concert. This is the third concert in our Beethoven Festival at Shadow State College. And it's also the first of four during the month of October. So I'm performing tonight, this coming Saturday, Jonathan Sakasitz of Hastings College will be here to perform a recital. Then on the 16th, CSC's own Bobby Pace will perform. And then the day before, <laughs> the day before Halloween, Nathan Buckner of the University of Nebraska Kearney will be here to play the Diabelli Variations. Uh, so that's coming up in the month of October. I'll just say a few words about tonight's music. I'll talk about each piece before I play them. So the first piece on the program, the Piano Sonata uh, in F Major, Opus 54, is an unusual sonata. So believe it or not, this piece was written about the same time as Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, one of his most famous compositions. But you will hear nothing that sounds like the Fifth Symphony in this piece. It's a, it's a two-movement sonata, which is already kind of unusual. And the first movement is in the style of a minuet, which is a court dance, which is also very unusual. So Beethoven is in his middle period here, and he's, he's experimenting. He's really pushing the boundaries of what can be put into a sonata form. And this first movement is is odd because it feels like the music starts and stops and starts and stops and just does that over and over again with some slight variations and a few interruptions. And, and it's, it's been um, offered that maybe Beethoven is making fun of other composers in this movement in that he's, he's parodying people who frankly had less talent. So, he, was, he could be kind of cruel in his criticisms of his contemporaries, and he often would poke fun at them in some of his compositions. So that's possible. We don't have that from Beethoven himself, but it's a possibility. The second movement is totally different. It's uh, just continuous music, 16th notes. There's not a second of silence in this movement. It's just continuous movement, so very contrasting to the first movement. So here's Beethoven's Sonata, Opus 54.
Thank you very much. Well, it gets my heart, heart beating faster, that one. So the next piece on the program is Beethoven's 32 Variations. The W-O-O on your program, it means Werke ohne Opus, which is a work without an opus number. What does that mean? So Beethoven wrote this piece, and believe it or not, it's one of his most popular pieces for pianists. You hear this played a lot um, in competitions, especially in teenage competitions. It's a very frequently assigned piece, and, and people love to play it, honestly. But Beethoven himself didn't think very highly of it. So a work without an opus number means that the composer decided not to publish it. He didn't think it was worthy of putting it out there on the market. And in fact, a few years after Beethoven wrote this, somebody was playing it, and Beethoven asked, who wrote it? He didn't even remember that he had written it. So that's, that's, he, doesn't, he didn't really regard this piece very highly. However, I, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's 32 variations might seem very long, but the theme itself is just a few variations, some of the very, uh, a few measures. Some of the variations go by within a few seconds, actually. So I uh, hope you enjoy his 32 variations in C minor. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. The last piece on the program is the sonata, Opus 22. This is one of the grand sonatas, so one of the four movement sonatas. And this sonata might be considered to be the, the pinnacle of Beethoven's early period. It's not shortly after this sonata that he really starts branching out and experimenting a lot more. So this is, is a, a, a very virtuosic sonata, but it's also pretty rooted in the classical tradition in a lot of ways. So the first movement is uh, full of energy. It might remind you, in fact, this sonata might remind you of the Opus 7 sonata that I played on the first recital, another one of the grand sonatas. The first movement is just boiling over with energy. Lots of, lots of finger work to do for me. And then in the second movement, um, it's a, a very beautiful uh, aria, so a, like a song, uh, and, and has quite a bit of drama in it as well, but also a tremendous amount of peace. And then the third movement is a minuet and trio style movement. So we have um, a, a dance figure and then a contrasting section. Then we come back to the dance and, and repeat that. And then the final movement is a rondo, just like the Opus 7 Sonata. So we have a, a theme and then it alters with some contrasting material. And we hear the theme come back several times and Beethoven alter it, alters it each time to try to maintain our interest. <laughs> and uh, just to show off a little bit his compositional skill, how he can take a theme and really uh, um, make it more and more interesting in, in this way or that way. So here's Beethoven's Sonata, Opus 22. Thank you. <laughs> 